Good evening. A late glance at the news for the central region. One man has been killed and another seriously injured in a factory explosion in Stoke-on-Trent. The dead man hasn't been named, but please say he was in his 20s. He was working next to an air compressor at the tailor-made castings factory in Baslem when the accident happened. Another man, Peter Byrne of Burslem, is in the North Staffordshire Royal Infirmary. He has serious leg injuries. The pit dispute and two Gloucestershire haulage firms have issued High Court writs against the Miners' Union. George Reed Transport and Richard Reed Transport claim NUM pickets are stopping their vehicles delivering coke to the Port Talbot Steelworks in Wales. The writs will be heard in the High Court tomorrow and are issued against Welsh NUM leaders. A postman has been jailed for three years for the manslaughter of a colleague. Keith Turberfield denied murdering William Stiles, who was stabbed to death at his Sutton Coalfield home. Birmingham Crown Court heard that Turberfield had had an affair with Stiles' wife. Conservationists have warned that Hereford's historic town centre could be destroyed by a multi-million pound shopping development. They told a public inquiry the proposals would alter the medieval street pattern, one of the best preserved in Britain. The local council says without the new shops, it would be impossible to attract new businesses to the city centre. The Midland organisers of the next National Garden Festival have admitted for the first time that it will be a financial failure. The Stoke Festival is the follow-up to this year's Liverpool event. Costs were to be met by sponsorship and ticket sales, but local council organisers say they won't break even. They'll now be asking the government for an extra two and a half million pounds in aid. The festival is due to open in 1986. Look at the weather. Tomorrow, tonight will stay dry, but with some clouds with a minimum temperature of 11 centigrade, 52 Fahrenheit. Tomorrow will be dull and misty with brighter periods later. Afternoon temperatures will rise to 22 centigrade, 72 Fahrenheit. And that's it from the newsroom. Good night.